So, you want to make a shadow catcher, but it's the fourth inning and things aren't looking up. Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Buy Kai, I'm Kai, and today we are back once again, taking a look at how to make a shadow catcher in Eevee in Blender 3.0, which is the alpha version, the newest alpha version that has come out, which is insane. We're finally in Blender 2.3, so that's pretty cool. Um, let's go ahead and hit Shift A real quick, because we need to add a plane. Um, hit S to scale that bad boy up a little bit, just like that. Um, and then we can just rotate around, grab our uh, cube, and we'll just hit G, Z to move him up a little bit, just so he's above the uh, above the plane like that. Now I'm gonna select our lamp, and we're gonna go ahead and go to go to the lamp tab here and change this to sun, and then I'll just change the strength down from a thousand to ten. Hit enter, and now we go to the render viewport shading up at the top here, and now you can see that we uh, we are we have the ability to see what this is like. In rendered obviously but now what we need to basically do is we want this plane to be invisible but we still want the shadow to be visible so the way we do that is we go ahead and with the plane selected we'll go ahead and left click our and put our cursor up in the top left hand corner until it turns into a plus like that and then left click and drag until we split our window into two then we're gonna go ahead and hit this little box right here and change this to the shader editor there we go and then just drag this off because we don't need that so there we go now we're gonna go ahead and up here Click this little button right here, change this to material, and then go ahead and uh, and just grab this principal BSDF shader, hit delete, because we do not need that. Now everything is gonna gonna go black, which is kind of crazy. But with the cube selected, I'm gonna go ahead and change uh, and change this, go to the material tab here, hit this little X, and then we'll hit new. So now that material is not the same material as this black material that we have. So now it's two different materials. We can call the cube like cube or something, and then we just call the, the black uh, plane shadow uh, catcher. Yeah, sure, that's original. Um, all right, with the shadow catcher plane selected, we'll go ahead and hit shift A, and we'll search for a couple things. We'll search for a diffuse shader. So uh, diffuse right there, plop that right there, and we'll hit shift A, and we'll search for a shader to RGB node right there. We'll plug the diff diffuse into the shader RGB right there. Perfect. And we'll go ahead and hit Shift A once again, and then uh, search for a color ramp node. Put that right there. Move this uh, material I'll put over a little bit. Plug the color of the shader RT RGB into the color ramp. There we go, because we can't plug a diffuse straight into the color ramp because it doesn't work. Obviously, you see the line is red, so we have to have a diffuse into a shaded RGB so that it takes this shader and turns it into red, green, and blue, which we can then put into the color ramp. That's why we do that, by the way, um, if you were curious. And we're gonna go ahead and hit Shift A one more time, search for a mix shader, um, right there. And I lie, we hit it one more time, Shift A, and we'll search for a transparent shader, right there. Now we're gonna plug the uh, transparent shader into the bottom of the mix shader, um, and we'll hit Shift D with the diffuse shader selected. So select that, hit Shift D to duplicate that, Put it right here, and then plug that into the top of the mix shader. Grab the color ramp, plug the color into the factor of the mix shader, and then plug the mix shader into the surface of the material output. Now it should look just like this, look really weird with like a weird kind of white outline shadow kind of thing going on, but we'll fix that in a moment by going ahead and taking the diffuse, uh, this diffuse down here, the one that's plugged into the mix shader, and, and uh, putting it all the way down to black. So now, now the color of the shadow is black. As you can see, this determines the color of the shadow. So if you want like a green shadow, whatever else, make it whatever color. But of course, we're gonna make this black because shadows are black. Um, we'll go ahead and now we can go ahead and do a couple more things. Now what we need to do is with the plane selected, we need to go to the material tab here, right here, and go all the way down to settings and make sure the blend mode is set to alpha blend. Now once that's done, you can see that the plane is looking transparent now it's not actually transparent yet because uh it's just gray like the rest of the background you just really can't tell so what we have need to do to make sure that this is actually transparent is to go to the main tab and then go to film check transparent and as you can see this is actually fully transparent now um there is no plane but the shadow is still visible and the rest of everything is transparent but if you look at the back of it then obviously it is so to fix this we'll go ahead and go back to the material tab and uncheck show back face. So now you don't have to worry about that because um, like back face culling obviously needs to be checked as well. There you go. So make sure show back face is off and back face culling is checked. So now you don't have to worry about that. Um, so there we go. That is it, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you do it. And you can grab your lamp real quick up here, grab the lamp and then just rotate, oh, just rotate it around. 
And if we, like I said, if we unplug it, you can see that we now have a solid black surface. But if we plug it back in, you can see that it does work. So there you go. Just go ahead and rotate this lamp around. Even change to a point lamp. As you can see, the point lamp ah, does not work if the light isn't shining fully on it. So if you use a point lamp, the light has to fully be shining onto the surface, which is why we use a sun lamp because the sun lamp will evenly light the entire thing because it, the point lamp only lights a little bit. So as you can see, the, the plane needs full light to be on it for it to actually work or else it'll be in completely shadow. So make sure the sun lamp is on. That's very important. So make sure the strength is up enough. One is, is even, actually one's not enough. I recommend just going with 10. I think 10 is as probably as low as you should go. But like I said, there you go. That is it, ladies and gentlemen. I will see you in the next one. But until then, bye-bye.